Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about basic Windows commands. There are two types of command prompts in Windows operating systems, CMD and PowerShell. They both execute commands, but in addition, PowerShell is an advanced command line shell and scripting language. It automates system administration tasks and offers a powerful command line environment. It supports object-oriented programming concepts, making it easier to work with data. PowerShell also allows you to run most of the commands in Linux systems. You can open these shells by pressing Windows R and type CMD or Windows R again and type PowerShell. Enter. Another way to open them is searching in this box. Type CMD or PowerShell again. Now let's study basic commands with CMD. I need to go to my working directory that I prepared for you. If you want to clear the screen in command prompt, you need to type CLS. First command is FC, file compare. This command detects differences between two files. Usage is FC, file 1's name and file 2's name. By the way, we use forward slash instead of dash in Windows operating systems for options. Or maybe you can call this switch or flag. For example, FC, forward slash and question mark displays help page. You can see dash C disregards the case of letters. FC's equivalent command in Linux is diff command. I want to show you a live example. Let me open the files first. Okay. Let's type FC dash C to disregard the case of letters and asd.txt and dsa.txt. And yes, we compared the two files in here. What about dir command? Let's clear the screen. Linux equivalent of this command is ls. It is used to display directory items. dir dot or just dir. They're both same. Moreover, dir dir documents. Yes, you see the directory items inside it. And next command is del. Linux equivalent of this command is rm. This command deletes files or folders. del documents. It says, are you sure? I will say no. del new.txt. Another command is cd. If you don't specify any parameter, it prints our current directory just like pwd in Linux. cd documents. Then we can go back to our parent directory cd dot dot. Or we can go one more directory back cd dot dot. Now cd win. This is how it works. Next command is type. Linux equivalent of this command is cat. Type look in .txt. I haven't mentioned, but Linux's autocomplete feature is valid for Windows systems. And this is the content in look in .txt. After that, we have copy command. Linux equivalent of this command is cp, as you all know. Let's go inside documents directory. Then type copy star dot dot backslash. Star is white card operator. It represents all items in that directory. Let's look at it. We have one folder and three files. Dot dot symbolizes parent directory. And we always use backslash instead of forward slash in Windows systems. Enter. 
As you see, we have copied three files into Win directory. Let's look at the parent directory. One, two, three. Copy command allows you to copy files. If you want to copy folders, you need to use xcopy command. Last command I want to teach you is move. Linux equivalent of this command is mv. Dear move new folder dot dot backslash. Dear new folder is gone. Dear dot dot backslash. You can see the new folder in here. These commands I talked are a small part of a whole. You will get familiar with other commands while you are dealing with shell. Don't worry. Last of all, I want to teach you a quick tip. By default, common prompts start in the home directory of current user. Let's look at it. CMD. Look at, this is my username and this is my home directory. If you want to open common prompt in a specific folder, for example here, click on this box and type, let's say PowerShell, and enter. As you see, we are in this folder. This video is over. See you in another video.